my mum had cancer in a very short period uh, from diagnosis to death. That was very short. But with something like dementia, it can be very, very drawn out. It really brought it home to me how the challenges of being a caregiver, the sacrifices that someone like Daniel has had to make and will continue to make in his journey uh, with people who are living with dementia. That's why I've decided to attempt something risky at my next choir rehearsal. Look, so today is going to be a special session. We're going to um, divide you up. The caregivers, we're going to have some time with Evelyn, and then the rest of us will go out there. OK? Let's have some fun today in each of the groups and see what happens. Bye. Bye. So every session, the caregivers point their loved ones to the verses that they're singing in the right, right place at the right time. It really helps the, the rehearsal move along. So by removing that, what happens? My name is Evelyn, or Evelyn. I'm a music therapist. The caregivers will be going through a guided imagery and music session with music therapist Evelyn. Breathing in and breathing out. It's a psychotherapeutic approach that reduces stress and anxiety. And it's increasingly being used as an intervention for caregivers of those living with dementia. Right now, we'll be playing some classical music. And when you're listening, you may have certain images or flashbacks. And then after that, without discussing with anybody, we will take our drawing materials out and we'll spend about 10 minutes to draw. While the caregivers spend the next hour alone with their thoughts... Hello, everybody! Their loved okay. ones will be fending for themselves. Let's start with... Death the halls with boughs of holly. Turn the page, turn the page, page 31. You know where we are? You better not pause when you're awake. Are you not following the words? And I was thinking, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold that thought, someone's lost. Uh, here. This one, there you go. That's the Esther's got that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Is this session going to be of any use? Look, so today is going to be a special session. We're going to um, divide you up. I've split the caregivers and their loved ones for the very first time. And I'm starting to regret my decision. I was sitting beside Jackie at the beginning, making sure she knew where she was in the songbook. Turn the page. Turn the page. Page 31. And then Uncle Peter and Stephen needed some help. You know where we are? Cry, you better not pal. You're awake. Are you not following the words? Hold that thought, someone's lost. Here. This one, there you go. That's the Esther's got that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, Should we start from the beginning again? We'll start from the beginning, the verse one, right? Yeah. Suddenly what unfolds is this is this wonderful session where they all just want to sing and they want to help each other. Yay, better. Good job. So everything's going well and I think, hmm, well, I wonder how the caregivers are doing. It felt like a 180 degree turn. When I, I hear the music, it actually gave me a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. This uh, caregiving journey is really very, really very tough. Yeah, no one to talk to, no one will understand the kind of stress that I go through. I have a full-time job. Why do I choose to do a full-time job? It is also because it takes me away from all the repetitive, um, all the repetitive um, delusions that my husband has. I think the last three years has been very um, tough on me personally. 
because I had to look after my mom who had cancer and then my mother-in-law. And suddenly my husband is infected. And the promises I made <laughs> uh, to my parents, to my husband, I'll look after them as best as I can. I'm grateful that I still have Peter with me and I'm enjoying every minute that I have with him. I drew some cracks in it. Hopefully through the cracks, the colours can go in. Mm. I like a peaceful life. Live healthy and happily. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Hey, Hi. Yvonne. How are you? Did you have a good session today, Peter? Oh, it was great. So um, happy. One happy. of those uh, karaoke days. That's right. <laughs> Reminds me. And how about how about you? Because you were in the other room. Yes. With the music therapy session, and, and I noticed that there was some emotion <laughs> coming up. And when you have people close to you impacted um, by a disease that you cannot stop, and you know, as much as you want to stay positive, it's very hard. I mean, I don't know uh, uh, how much the disease will would. would progress, although I, we say we're doing whatever we can. I mean, we are very prepared. Peter and I have talked about it. But again, you're never prepared for the unknown, right? Ah, okay. No more crying, no more <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>